Good afternoon and thank you um, for joining us here today as we um, announce this wonderful strategic partnership between Oklahoma State University and St. Anthony Hospital and with the communities of Western Oklahoma. Um, we're here to talk about telemedicine. Telemedicine is a new and exciting program. It's happening all across the country, but it's really is, I think, is new for Oklahoma. And the way we're able to do this is in partnership with Oklahoma State University. We have some communities that are gonna be working with Oklahoma State University and St. Anthony. Those include Shattuck, Laverne, Buffalo, Cordell, Fairview, and O'Keene. And we have representatives from many of those communities here today, and I thank them for being here and being part of this. The focus and the purpose of telemedicine is to be able to bring specialists that are from St. Anthony to places in rural Oklahoma where they are needed. I am from rural Oklahoma. I grew up in a town called Forgan. Uh, many of you may know where that is. Some of you may not know where it is. It's in Beaver County. It's about five to seven miles north of Beaver. And um, my great grandparents settled out there when it was no man's land and my parents still live there to this day. So it's very important to me that we be able to provide services out in rural Oklahoma in conjunction with those healthcare services that are already out in rural Oklahoma. This way, people like my parents, if they utilize telemedicine for some of their healthcare services, they don't have to drive down three and a half hours to Oklahoma City to see a physician and possibly have to spend the night. They can actually see a physician and go back to work that particular day. So that's the reason why it's really important for me. The other reason why is because St. Anthony continues to be on the cutting edge of many things that are happening. As you see, we have made a tremendous improvement at St. Anthony over the past three to four years and the services and the things that we're offering. One of the things that we're doing is we have a Saints First program and we have 15 rural affiliates that we're working with to help provide services out in rural Oklahoma and this is just one avenue of how we're doing that. Now I would like to introduce Dr. Stanley Grog, he's the Interim President and Dean of OSU Center for Health Sciences and the College of Osteopathic Medicine. Welcome, Dr. Grog. Thank you so much, and uh, this is an exciting time for Oklahoma State University Center for Health Sciences, too. We are committed to serving rural Oklahoma, getting primary care physicians out into rural Oklahoma, but the number of physicians and students going to our school versus the number of uh, needs in Oklahoma are such that uh, we're going to have to do it another way, at least for the time being, and that other way is via telemedicine. With a partnership with St. Anthony's and Oklahoma State Center for Health Sciences, we'll be able to provide care for the patient in their own community so they do not have to drive to Oklahoma City or Lawton or, or one of the other facilities Enid, that might be present. We have a teaching uh, program here at St. Anthony's. Uh, our family practice program is, is large and, and up and running, and so this is a facility that we thought would uh, fit well with our needs. We will be able to see a patient in Beaver, Oklahoma. That patient uh, can be videoed and sent back to a specialist such as Dr. Smith, a neurologist here at St. Anthony's. He can see how the neurological exam is done and make a diagnosis, suggest what the patient needs, and the patient never has to come to uh, uh, Oklahoma City in, in this case. So we're excited for that part. We will have our second mobile van, uh, you, or actually it's a bus. You can see outside the window that uh, we have our large bus here that has clinics in. We can put uh, nursing personnel, we can put physicians, healthcare providers into the mobile clinic and actually do like uh, mammography, prosthetic exams, those kind of things out into rural Oklahoma. A second uh, bus to supply the needs of western Oklahoma will be available in the middle of 2010. So with that, it's very exciting. We thank uh, St. Anthony's for being a partner with us and I believe Dr. Smith is going going to talk about uh, uh, how it's going to help. I'm Dave Smith. I'm a neurologist here at St. Anthony's and a member of our stroke team. And we've been very proud in the last year to move along to becoming a certified stroke center. And working with our other affiliates and our Saints First program, we've been able now to move out into our uh, communities and to begin to offer our, what I consider to be more up-to-date acute care for our stroke patients. Up to this time, much of this has been done simply by a phone call without having a good chance to observe the patient, see what they look like, or to actually review their diagnostic studies. 
I've said and I've watched some of these images now that we can transmit. And it's incredible the information I think we can gain by watching the patient, the patient being examined. And I think this will allow us to make more informed judgments and decisions on acute stroke care. Speaking for other specialists, I think one of the big advantages now is that we can have patients that normally would be either reluctant to come into the hospital setting or maybe physically not capable of coming into the hospital, making a long trip, and that with the use of the telemedicine uh, setup, we'll be able to provide diagnostic uh, suggestions and treatment management for those people. And I think that would be a convenience for them and for their physicians in their local community. So I'm excited about this from the stroke program. I'm also very excited about this from the standpoint of being a specialist. Thank you. What an exciting partnership, and I think it's an exciting opportunity for not only those of us who um, are, are providing healthcare services in Oklahoma City, but it's also an exciting opportunity, I think, for those individuals living in rural Oklahoma. Now, we have video and photo opportunities will be inside the bus. Um, there will also be media interviews available for those of you who would like to have those. And we thank you all for coming. So again, thanks for coming. We appreciate it.